What's good y'all, welcome back to the channel. So for those that are new to crappie fishing, I've done some research to help you and myself. I found this article at Carl's Bait and Tackle, I'll link it below. But basically what it says is, crappie begin spawning once water temperatures reach above 60 degrees. Every body of water is different, so it may reach 60 degrees before others. So keep an eye out on the bodies of water that you're close to. And from what I've been told, it takes at least 10 days of consistent warm weather before the water temperature can get up to 60 degrees. So just know that you can get crappie year round. You just gotta change your tactics depending on the time of year and the temperature of the water. Crappie tend to stay deep in the winter. You can get them, but you just gotta get out there. And the thing that we're all waiting for is spring to officially kick off where the crappie pull in and they start spawning and be easy for the pickings. But just remember to respect the limit when you're out there catching them, because when you're getting them, you're gonna be surprised how many you get. And as the temperature will change again in the summer, the crappie will push off from the bank. It won't go too deep, but you could catch them like right in the middle of the water column. And then as fall comes around, again, it'll change. And you have to change also, change your tactics. They'll be harder to get because they may be scattered all over the place depending on what water temperature is most comfortable for them now, here's a few other images that i saw on the internet and i just clipped them so you can you know just take a look at them and get a visual of what you should be looking for and what might be underneath the boat dock or whatever it is where you're fishing you're not just blind casting into the water but if you know that there's structure there there just might be some fish crappie bass etc all fish tend to gravitate towards structure. And here's a few clips of me crappie fishing last year. It's old footage, but it's a good example of the type of structure you should target. Right, come here. That's a, that's a good size one. And that was on your jig, brother. Yeah? That was on your jig. Which, which one? The one you gave my son. Oh, that, that green one? I'm gonna have to go ahead and switch it up to the green. All right, let's get on one. There's crappie. They're just underneath it, and you have to get it to them. It'll be right there. I've got this right there, too, son. Bite right there. I've got this right there, too. There you go. You got him. You got to Can't be doing it like that, though, bro. He's just <laughs> snatched. Can't be doing it like that, though. Snatched him hard. Yeah, you can't do it like that, though, bro. You got him. You know what I'm saying? He's got a finesse. Don't get hit right. Bro. You got to pay attention. There you go. Got him. There you go, brother. Oh, Whoa, you got to a big one. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There we go. I ain't that big, is this? Uh-oh. That, that chartreuse? I told you, didn't I? You told me. Oh, damn. Like what's in there, huh? Yeah, I got stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. You guys can't. If you ain't getting hung up, son, you are not crappy. <laughs> hey, yep, exactly. That's how it goes, because they up in there. Oh, damn. Get a little twitch, twitch, twitch. Yeah, yeah, you're doing too much with all that making it hot, bro. There you go. Got him, son. There you go. Crappy fishing, little boy. There you go. Don't. Oh. You can't be horsing him, bro. He was right there. But you were horsing him. You got a finessing. Yeah, you can't be doing that. A little fish, bro. You all horsing him. You can't do that. Big telly. I need to put a little bit more of that juice back on here. Oh, no, no, I don't. There you go. There you go, bro. There you go, brother. Oh, damn. Chunks, oh. did I tell you that's that bail? No, 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 no. Hold on. Let him do his thing. Hold on. I go down there and get that. I will. Uh, when he oh, it's a bass. All right. That's what it was. Damn. That was a bass, brother. Damn. Oh, bro. We just fishing these little sticks. Little stick up. All right, so this clip is kind of at a bad angle, but what I did was is I cast my rod as far as I could. I have a weighted bobber with one of my jigs on here. And the goal is to keep my bait as close as I can to the stick ups. So you'll see me just kind of working them back nice and slow. And you can see me kind of twisting and 
turning at a weird angle. I'm trying to guide the bait just past the stick ups and keep it there for as long as possible. And that's basically what I'm doing right now before I hook up. Yeah. So here's a better look at what I've been throwing at, at the trees, at the stick ups. It's important that you have a lot of gear because you will hit them trees and you will break off. So with that said, y'all, I hope you learned something. Hope you can go out and try to get some crappie better prepared, especially before the spring officially gets here and uh, you know. find places to fish where there's people lined up pulling them in. Oh, and again, for those of you that constantly ask about Lake Isabella, I have not been and I don't know when I'm going to go again. The reports that I've been getting has been mixed, saying that the water is really low. The folks that I know that have gone haven't had much luck. So venture out to some places that are closer. Don't just solely rely on Lake Isabella because it is a great fishery, but there are other places to fish. Thanks again. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And like always, if I don't see you out on water, I'll catch you next video. Peace out. Uh, minnow.